Hey everyone, how are you doing? It's been a while since I ever filmed and today I'm going to practice in front of you, apparently. I've been seeing this new eyeshadow technique in Instagram and it's very famous and many influencers, booty gurus and small influencers are trying this technique and I, I have to say that you're very brave because that technique is beautiful, it's colorful, it's vibrant and it's terrifying at the same time and I'm so happy that you are brave because I'm not that brave and today I'm gonna be brave and I'm going to try this technique and cry with you because it's going to be a massive fail so let's get started in my Instagram I have a many pictures you know kept you know that you can keep all the pictures that you yeah so I have a lot of pictorials, videos, and pictures. Wow, I look much better with this camera. Bitch, is you blind? <laughs> so, let's begin. I have a lot of things that you can I have a lot of things that you can see. I have here a video, step by step. This is very famous in Brazil too. And I have pictorials like this one. Mm, that seems pretty easy in the beginning. Mm, yeah. Okay, that's easy. Cut your eyeshadow for an ombre shadow liner. Fuck, no, okay, no. And I'm going to try one of them. I saw this one by Rocio Ceja and I don't know, it's pretty easy. I want I want something challenging, okay? Um, let's see this one. No thanks. Pack a brown in the crease. That that see that looks pretty easy. Blend an orange over the brown. Okay. Blend a yellow over that. Mm -hmm. Cut the crease. Cut crease and pack brown on dash line. Okay. Blend orange and yellow. Okay. That that seems. I can do that. Yeah, I can do that. I, I can do that. I think I can. Add glitter and inner corner highlight. Okay, what the fuck? No, I can't. No, no, no. no. Bye. Okay, I can do that. I think I can do that. I don't know. Okay, yeah, I, I, I yeah, I, uh, uh, yeah, I can try that. I can. It's a little. It's, it's easy. We're gonna try. This is by Bikaboo three one eight. Let's try this. Okay, I'm going to change the camera and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Hey, how are you? Yeah, I'm really happy with this camera because. My the last camera and I'm going to prime and then I'm going with the eyes. I practiced this yesterday. No. Ante de ayer. I practiced and it was horrible. I didn't took pictures of it because it was atrocious. Atrocious. It was horrible. Like if you see it, you die. Okay? Now let's get with the eyes. So listen. I don't have a pillowis base. Morphe M506, Morphe M507, Stacy Marie Carnival Eyeshadow Palette, Morphe X James Charles Palette. I don't have that. I couldn't do these eye looks because I didn't have the palettes. So I'm going to show you all the palettes that I own that has colors. The Pastel Goth by Kat Von D. This is like the only matte colorful eyeshadow palette that I own. The Yes Please 
palette by Colourpop that it has the red, the orange and the yellow. Then I have this Fenty Beauty Galaxy Glitter Eyeshadow Palette and then the Huda Beauty Old Rose Gold Edition Palette because of that pink and that maroon shade. I have the Morphe 39A Palette which has these cranberry shades, the blues, the greens and the full spectrum by Urban Decay, like this. And then I got this in the mail. <laughs> Kidding. I bought it in the Beauty Expo in Buenos Aires. I saw this and it was like, I need a palette like this. Let's start with our base. As I said, I don't have the Pilouis base, so I'm gonna use the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in medium 30 and light 20. gonna take the Morphe G34 to blend. Now the thing with this, so as I've been seeing in YouTube and Instagram, instead of swiping, you pat. Pa, 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 pa. And you take it everywhere, all the eye area where you want to add the shadow. So if you want to go furthermore with the with your eyeshadow, you take the base Furthermore, oh man, I'm going to suck at this. Another thing with this eye makeup technique is that you have to be very, very, very patient. I am not patient. Every time we go somewhere, I'm like, can we leave? Can we go home? I don't know how this will go. Other thing is not setting the base. So I'm going to take the Take Me Back to Brazil. I'm going to take this. Okay, I'm going to. Ooh, okay. Okay, so far this is looking pretty good. I mean, yeah, it, it looks good. But once I start blending, that's when everything looks bad. Right now this may look good, but later it will be horrible. But this, this looks pretty good. I don't think I need to, you know, apply more. So I'm going to take the light blue in the palette. Hmm. I think that looks pretty good. I mean, what do you think? I'm going to take this light green shade. very nice now this is when I don't know how much time I should keep blending because it seems like it's an eternity I think there is a lot of green that I think I should apply more light blue she takes like a hot red mm, I don't have a red like that I mean it's not the red in the BH cosmetics palette if I go with this red I don't know, it will look very harsh. That red is like a, like a coral red. I am risking my life in here. Okay, I have a close alternative and it's from the Kylie Take Me On Vacation palette. This is a lighter coral shade and this one is called Starfish. Oh, but that's, that's nice. That's very nice. I've been blending, but well, not for hours, but for some seconds. I still have that magenta harsh line. I don't know if keep blending will solve that. Let me take a little bit of the red in the BH Cosmetics. Mm. I'm going to use Citrine by Kylie in the bronze palette. Okay, let me, let me see if I can save this eye, which probably not. From all of the pictures that I have kept in Instagram, this is one of the easiest because there are others that are like very hard to do. You have to pack and then pack another shade, then pack another shade and then blend all of them. And I can't do that. And this is looking very bad. Then she goes with yellow over all of this. I'm gonna take this yellow No. How am I 
supposed to do this? Then she cuts the crease, but she only cuts the middle. Let's do it. Come on, how bad it could be. And some people clean all this area so that when they apply the concealer, it doesn't mix with all these colors. I don't do that, but I should do it because it's true. Once you mix with the shadows, you get like a messy, horrible color. She goes with a liner, so let's go with the liner. <sighs> One eye almost completed and it looks horrible. And I have to do the other eye as well, so I'm going to kill myself. So I'm going to do the other eye of camera and I'll be right back. Even my Pride Month makeup tutorial looks better than this. I really want to die. I'm just concerned of myself right now. I am doubting about my existence at this moment. So, so I'm going to start with the face now. <laughs> what happens when I am in a bad mood. The eyes are a total mess, so my face is a total mess now. It's weird that I could apply lashes. Hmm, I mean, in camera it doesn't look that bad. I mean, if I'm far away, it looks good, but if I am closer, it's horrible. Oh, fuck! Look at my lips. I just went downstairs and my sister looked at me and she said I really like your makeup Really? And to ease the pain I'm going to eat alfajor and not one but two should make an outro so I hope you find this video entertaining I hope that you laughed as I was failing in doing my makeup give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel don't forget to follow me on Instagram arroba solbordeta and I'll see you in the next video which will be by Halloween so stay tuned for that video so bye and I'll see you in Halloween. Ah, uh, was kidding. Well, bye people. I'll see you in the next video.